In this experiment, we observe three samples of beaker with treatments of three different concentrations of sunscreens. Why we choose sunscreen? Sunscreen is a potential substance that can give dangerous consequences for aquatic life. It also can be an emerging or unexpected pollutants to the coastal waters due to tourism. The objective of this study are to document and describe embryogenesis, to determine the effects of sunscreen towards egg survival, and to interpret reports and discuss the effects of sunscreen on the embryogenesis. We studied the impact of dissolved sunscreen in distilled water on the observed fish embryogenesis of the freshwater fish Anabis testidinensis. The brand of sunscreen that we used was the banana goat sunscreen, which had a high SPF content. The sunscreen contains oxybenzene, which has a low solubility in water. However, the molecular structure contains one hydroxyl group, which is hydrophilic, allowing some solubility in water, even though the rest of the molecule is hydrophobic. Sixteen milligrams of the sunscreen was measured with the help of an analytical balance. We used a spatula to transfer the sunscreen into a beaker. Then distilled water was added to the beaker and the dissolution of the sunscreen in the distilled water took place with the help of a magnetic stirrer on a hot plate. Finally, the mixture was topped with dechlorized water until a volume of 250 milliliters was reached. The mature boot stock were then injected with overprim, a hormone that induces spawning in freshwater fish. After injection, each bootstock pair was put back in an aquarium in a dark environment and then allowed to spawn naturally. After spawning, the transparent fertilized eggs which are floating were collected and transferred to both the treatment and control beakers, while the unfertilized eggs which are usually cloudy settled to the bottom of the aquarium. The development of the fish eggs were observed for the next 24 hours from zero hours post-fertilization all the way until the hatching stage on depression slides under a microscope. Images and videos were taken and every stage of the fish development was recorded. The effects of sunscreen solution or fish embryogenesis was then analyzed. In this video, we see the process that is involved in inducing spawning in freshwater fish. The hormone overpim is injected to induce spawning in the freshwater fish. Once spawning has taken place, the fertilized eggs are then collected in both a treatment and control beaker for analysis under depression slides in a microscope. We moving on with the result. The first concentration is 3 mg of sunscreen concentration. Since we started later than the other treatments, the eggs that are in the tanks are already in blastula periods, which is within high to oblong transition. After that, the eggs develop well into its respective stages. This is the pictures of the embryogen. The embryogenesis stages that occurs during the whole experiment. A total of 21.40 hours to, to ensure the hatchings of the eggs. Finally, the eggs hatch at 4.46 pm. At the 8th cell stage, which is um, D, 
we can see that um, some eggs were deformed and if it is developed, the cells will be tilted uh, either right or left and the cleavage of the cells are not observable. Um, in the blastula stage, which is the H, only 128 cell was recorded and then it is fast forward to the high stage. Um, the difference of the number of cells is not really obvious, thus the data was limited here. Um, the long, one of the longest time the cell took for it to change its stage was 30% epiboli turned into 50% epiboli which took hours and also um, from shield changing stages to 70% epiboli also took hours uh, which was the longest time uh, taken for it to change its stage and the last stage recorded which is the 25 so much stage is at 4.42 p.m. and 20, it is 21.95 hours post fertilization. For the discussion, the embryo development in the 3 mg per liter sunscreen solution had no data before the high school of long transition. This is because the observation of the embryo only began after 3.05 hours post fertilization. This is our good mistake. The ingredient in the sunscreen that our group focus on is the ozibenzone, which is also known as the benzophenone tree, EP3. Overall, the embryo in control solution recorded the shortest duration for every transition period, except for the cementation period. As you can see, the embryo in the 3 mg per liter sunscreen solutions hatch earlier than the control solution. This is because the starting temperature in 3 mg per liter sunscreen solution was 30 degrees Celsius as warmer temperature will speak up the embryogenesis process since it can be the optimum temperature for the mobility and earlier excretion of hatchling enzyme according to Kupferns et al. 2008. The embryo developed the slowest in 50 mg per liter sunscreen solutions as expected due to the presence of high oxybenzone concentrations. In the 3 mg per liter sunscreen solutions, which is less than 4.3 at 5 mg per liter, according to the font at all 2016, there are generally no developmental defects in the embryo. However, for the 16 mg per liter sunscreen solutions, there are possibility of phenotypic effects, for example, shortened tail, low endema, shrimp head shed, and etc. According to the science daily 2018, the effect of sunscreen will be visible in the offspring, especially during the early development, which will cause the abnormality in certain stages, especially during the long-term exposure and high concentration of sunscreen. Oxybenzone found in sunscreens are phototoxic and estrogenic, which can lead to mortality of fish embryos in early life. Cleavage and early blastular stages were not recorded for 3 mg per L. Late blastula stage was observed 3.38 hours post fertilization, with yolks were turning into a dome shape. Rudimentary head and optic vesicles were visible 6.49 hours post fertilization, indicating that it has short embryonic period and fast development. After 11.2 HPF at 4 somite stage, parts of the brain and auditory vesicles were visible and they were well defined at 8 somatic stage. Body cavities were expanded to the posterior ends at 13 somite stage and optic lenses were complete at 17 somite stage. After 19.24 HPF in 20 and 25 somite stage, the tail was free from the yolk and the fin buds slowly developed. After 22 HPF at gastrular stage prime 25, the notochord was completely vacuolized with formation of distinct kidney, pericardial cavity, spleen and air bladder. Last observations recorded include both eyes moving actively, twisting and moving around continuously inside the egg. Uh, hatchling time was lowest for 3 mg per L sunscreen treatment. This is because control and 16 mg per L treatment started 3 hours earlier. Fertilization for 3 mg were kept in well aerated tanks and temperature changes could have played a role in early development which affected the post-hatchling time. 
since the development, incubation, and variability in hatchling time of embryo are fully temperature dependent. The initial warmer treatment samples could trigger early development stages. So, in conclusion, the presence of sunscreen in the water column does have effects on fish eggs. It delays the period of hatching and it might decrease the chances of, this, of their survival. Um, besides, other parameters also play a vital role in the hatching of fish eggs such as temperature.